here's the linings uh, on the brakes. We're going to knock these out. So there's a pin here. I've got this pin, and this is the knockout pin. And this will go into the center of the rivet. And we're going to knock the rivet from the buck side out and pull these linings off. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to hit it with a hammer. Takes a pretty hard hit, several of them actually. Okay, we got the first one punched out. There's the second one. Got one more to go. And now there's the lining, taking the old lining off. There's three rivets and a lining. So we go back to this. We're going to put the lining back where it goes. And I'm going to put a rivet in the center. And I'm just going to kind of put this in place. i got to line up all three holes here. So my strategy is I'm going to put the center rivet in. And because the rivet's on top, there's the bottom. We've got to put the bottom part of the anvil in there. And then we switch pins. That pin is the, uh, the bucking pin for this. I'm going to turn this thing upside down just because my rivet will fall out. If I don't, rivet will fall out of the lining. So I get this lined up perfect. And I'm going to just kind of get it started. I'm not going to buck it all the way because i got to line up these other three holes. So I put the rivet in the second hole. We're going to do the same thing. Put it on there so my rivet doesn't fall out. Some people will put tape in there to hold the rivet in place because when you flip it upside down, it'll fall out. Same thing, I just tacked it loose. I, I didn't buck it all the way. I'm going, okay, now what we can do is I can go ahead and you'll see that the plate is wobbly. See that the lining is wobbly? So now I've got to buck these the rest of the way. So I'm going to give these some pretty good hits. Be aware that we can we can break this lining. If we turn into the gorilla mechanic, uh, we can destroy this thing. So I'm doing it a little bit at a time. I'm hitting a little harder, driving a little bit more, not a lot, and I'm messing with these rivets to make sure that they're driven all the way. Now I'm going to put my pick in there. I'm just seeing if the rivet will wobble, and if it's tight all the way, then I'm done.